step into the glamorous world of the 1935 classic film Top Hat, a cinematic gem that has stood the test of time. Famed for its captivating storyline, catchy tunes, and the dynamic on-screen chemistry between Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, this musical comedy has left an indelible mark on the history of cinema. As you reminisce about this timeless piece of cinematic history, consider the diverse array of characters that populate the narrative. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Was it the suave Jerry Travers, portrayed by Fred Astaire, or perhaps the elegant and witty Dale Tremont, played by Ginger Rogers? The film's charm lies not only in its delightful plot, but also in the memorable performances that continue to enchant audiences. Reflecting on personal experiences, when was the first time you watched Top Hat? Whether it was a cozy movie night at home or a special outing to the cinema, the magic of this film has a way of etching itself into cherished memories. Now, let's delve into some intriguing facts about Top Hat to enhance your appreciation for this cinematic masterpiece. The film boasts elaborate dance sequences that showcase the extraordinary talents of Astaire and Rogers. Behind the scenes, the costumes were meticulously designed, contributing to the film's visual splendor. Additionally, the witty and sophisticated dialogue adds an extra layer of charm to the overall experience. Before we wrap up, we'd love to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Top Hat. Feel free to share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to this classic film adds to the tapestry of its enduring legacy. Immerse yourself in the elegance and enchantment of Top Hat, a film that continues to captivate audiences decades after its release. It's not just a movie, it's a journey into the golden age of Hollywood, where dance, music, and romance converge to create an unforgettable cinematic experience. The Venice Canal set in the 1935 movie Top Hat was a massive production at RKO's Gower Studio. Stretching over 300 feet, it spanned two adjoining sound stages, marking it as the largest set ever constructed on the RKO lot up to that time. The sheer scale of the set underscores the ambitious nature of the film's production. This grand set provided the backdrop for the on-screen elegance and charm of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, who dazzled audiences with their iconic dance numbers. The set's size not only speaks to the technical prowess of the filmmakers, but also enhances the visual spectacle of the movie. Beyond the impressive set design, the film also features a notable uncredited appearance by Lucille Ball as the flower shop clerk. With platinum blonde hair, Ball's brief but memorable presence adds a touch of star power to the cast. Additionally, a behind-the-scenes tidbit reveals the creativity of Astaire and his collaborator Hermes Pan. They crafted playful and humorous lyrics to the tune of Cheek to Cheek, showcasing a light-hearted side to the film's production. In summary, the 1935 movie Top Hat stands out not only for its timeless dance routines and the chemistry between its lead actors, but also for the groundbreaking Venice Canal set that set a new standard for cinematic grandeur. In response to Astaire's concerns about the lacking plot, the filmmakers decided to infuse Top Hat with a more intricate storyline. They collaborated with renowned screenwriters to craft a narrative that would complement the enchanting dance sequences and showcase Astaire's multifaceted talents. The revised script introduced new subplots, adding layers of complexity to the characters and their relationships. Moreover, the creative team worked diligently to incorporate thematic elements that resonated with the audience, transforming Top Hat into more than just a musical extravaganza. They explored themes of love, mistaken identity, and societal expectations, weaving them seamlessly into the fabric of the film. These additions not only addressed Astaire's reservations, but also elevated the movie to a new level of sophistication. As the production progressed, Astaire's character underwent further refinement. The added scenes not only deepened his persona, but also allowed him to showcase a wider emotional range. The dance sequences, now intricately intertwined with the narrative, became a powerful expression of his character's journey, adding depth and resonance to the film. Despite the challenges faced during the creative process, the collaborative efforts between Astaire and the filmmakers ultimately resulted in a cinematic masterpiece that transcended its initial limitations. Top Hat became a timeless classic, celebrated not only for its breathtaking dance sequences, 
but also for its engaging storyline and well-developed characters. In the end, Astaire's dedication to enhancing his character and the film's overall quality underscored his commitment to delivering excellence in entertainment. A legacy of Top Hat endures is a testament to the transformative power of collaboration and the relentless pursuit of artistic perfection in the world of cinema. When crafting the iconic 1935 film Top Hat, the production team faced challenges that shaped its final form. Following a preview screening, audience feedback prompted the trimming of the film's end portion. Notably, small roles by Donald Meek and Florence Roberts fell victim to these edits, with some prints, including the RKO Collection videotape version, retaining scenes like Eric Bloor's insulting encounter with a policeman. To create visual contrast in the Grand Lido set, the water in the canals was deliberately dyed black. This decision added a striking visual element to the film, complementing the opulence of the large-scale sets. It's interesting to note how such meticulous details contributed to the overall aesthetic and atmosphere of Top Hat. Beyond the scenes captured on film, the production left a lasting impact on Fred Astaire. During the filming, Astaire crossed paths with the legendary Irving Berlin, sparking a lifelong friendship between the two. This connection with Berlin, a prominent figure in the world of music, adds a fascinating layer to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of Top Hat. In the realm of film, it's often the meticulous details and unexpected friendships that shape the final product. Top Hat, with its trimmed scenes, dyed canals, and the lasting bond between Astaire and Berlin, stands as a testament to the intricate interplay of creativity and collaboration that defines cinematic history. In the making of the 1935 movie Top Hat, interesting behind-the-scenes dynamics unfolded. Notably, Fred Astaire, dissatisfied with the grand finale production number The Piccolino, handed singing duties over to Ginger Rogers. This decision, reflecting Astaire's artistic choices, added a unique twist to the film's conclusion. Moreover, when the Hayes office caught wind of the casting choices, particularly Eric Rhodes and Edward Everett Horton, they issued a warning to RKO Studios, emphasizing the need to avoid portraying certain characters in a stereotypical manner. The intersection of artistic decisions and external pressures sheds light on the challenges faced during the production of Top Hat. Additionally, the dress worn by Ginger Rogers in the Piccolino is now a part of the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History in Washington, D.C., commemorating a key element of the film's iconic dance number. These anecdotes highlight the intricate details and complexities that contributed to the final product of Top Hat, showcasing how artistic choices and societal influences shaped this classic film. As the curtains draw to a close on our journey through the dazzling world of the 1935 classic, Top Hat, I invite you to linger a moment longer in the enchanting melodies of this cinematic masterpiece. Let the rhythmic tapping of Fred Astaire's feet resonate in the corridors of your memories, and the elegance of Ginger Rogers' every twirl leave an indelible mark on your cinematic soul. Top Hat isn't merely a film, it's a time capsule, a portal to an era where sophistication danced hand in hand with whimsy. As you bid adieu to this cinematic gem, consider the threads it weaves into the fabric of your own experiences. Did it transport you to an era you never knew, or perhaps remind you of moments when love and laughter twirled in synchrony? Now, I extend an invitation a gentle nudge for you to share your reflections on Top Hat. Unveil the layers of your connection to this timeless creation. Were you swept away by the charm of its characters, or did the film become a companion in your own moments of joy and elegance? Your thoughts are the missing notes in this symphony of shared experiences. The comments section awaits your anecdotes, your musings, and the footprints Top Hat has left on the dance floor of your heart. Thank you for waltzing through the cinematic corridors with us. Your time and reflections add an extra sparkle to this shared celebration of storytelling and art. Until our next cinematic rendezvous, may your days be as graceful as a dance sequence from Top Hat. With gratitude or channel name.